Honeheke Pokai, chopping down the flagpole above Kororarika, Russell, in 1845 will forever be seen as the spark which ignited the Northern War. It was in truth the last step in a long line of issues that had led Honeheke, Kawati, and factions of the Napuhi inexorably to war. The main cause of the dispute revolved around sovereignty and the trampling of mana Māori, with one race of people assuming authority over another's territory. The relationship between Māori and the Crown had started to deteriorate to an all-time low following the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi in 1840. An issue that is still affecting New Zealand today, over 150 years later. The British believed that the Māori had ceded sovereignty. With sovereignty went economic, judicial and political control. The colonial government was undermining the chief's traditional hereditary powers over the land and their people. The effects to mana and chieftainship posed a serious threat to the social structure and traditional values of Māori. In the Bay of Islands, the tensions escalated. As commerce moved to the new capital in Auckland, so did Ngāpuhi revenue. Ngāpuhi felt betrayed as the reality of British sovereignty was felt. Māori rights and expectations were usurped by the introduction of custom duties and levies, a ban on the felling of kauri and crown control of land sales. Oneheke had gifted the flagpole to the British resident. It flew the flag of the Confederation of the United Tribes of New Zealand at Waitangi until 1840. The British moved it to Kororarika and flew the Union Jack instead. The flagpole became the symbol of the growing grievances. Hone Heke chopped it down in mid-1844. Heke's ally, Kawati, explained their stance thus. If the flag stuff was only for the whites and the lands were sold them, we will not take up arms. We will not attack it. We will say nothing. But this flag takes away the authority of our chiefs and all our lands. The British governor, Fitzroy, acknowledged the flagpole itself was a mere stick, but... Connected with the British flag, it was of very great importance. Heke fell the flagpole for the fourth time during the Battle of Kororarika in March 1845. War was declared. The repercussion of those first shots fired in Kororarika was the arrival of the British military in force and ten months of conflict a conflict that would drag the British Redcoats further inland into hostile territory and set Napuhi against Napuhi, with fighting at Pukitutu, Te Ahuahu and Ohaiwai, redefining British military expectations. The final battle was at Te Rua Pekepe. 